Hey, um, I want to talk about the minimum wage. This isn't going to be a really in-depth video because I'm really on a roll here. I've been making loads of videos and there's a big queue. Um, but I think this is worth mentioning. Uh, I've just watched a clip of a call in to LBC with James O'Brien. Now, I certainly don't agree with O'Brien on everything. He's well to the left of myself, but on this particular issue, I think he was right. And I think um, he nailed the point on the head. So a guy had phoned in, he was a small business owner and um, he was complaining about the minimum wage rising. Um, but O'Brien actually caught him out at one point because the guy said he was opening a second shop. Now, how can you complain on one hand about rising costs and not being supposedly able to pay the minimum wage, yet you can obviously afford, you're doing well enough to open a second shop. So that's an interesting thing. And I think sometimes we kind of hold up small businesses to be beyond scrutiny, beyond critique. And I take issue with that. I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for small businesses. I, I intend to get, you know, one of my ambitions is to start my own shop at some point. And I fully admit there's a lot I need to learn. You know, I I totally concede that I I don't know much about business. I'm not an economist. But I'm I'm playing the devil's advocate, or rather I'm... I'm looking at a business point of view and I just don't see how it can be good for business to not pay the minimum wage. And I think the right need to understand that this isn't going to go anywhere. In my opinion, it was one of the best achievements of the Blair government. And it's thanks to campaigners, people like Rodney Bickerstaff, the late Rodney Bickerstaff, who pushed for this. And, you know, millions of people don't even know his name. He was, uh, I believe he was a trade unionist. I didn't even know much about him, but he was one of those credited with um, pushing Tony Blair to bring in the minimum wage. And millions of people actually owe him a debt of gratitude. And they don't even know his name. Rodney Bickerstaff. Look him up. But it's, um, I just can't get my head around why anyone would take issue with the idea that someone gets a fair salary for work. If that person is reliable, if they are putting in labor, why shouldn't they get a fair salary? It's just, it shouldn't even be an argument. It's just a case of basic fairness. And from a business point of view, if employees are happy, they're going to be more productive. Hence, that helps the business. So this is hardly a far left position. I mean, it's just a basic principle of fairness. Um... But the, he, James O'Brien also made a good point. If the guy is not paying the minimum wage or he's reluctant to do so, then who's he actually helping? Because we hear small businesses are job providers, that, therefore they help people. But it's it's all very well providing jobs, but if you're not paying your staff properly, it's not actually helping them. So that's not a benevolent thing. And it's bad for business because it will mean dissatisfied employees, they'll want to quit then the business suffers, you lose customers. Surely common sense would dictate that is bad for business and therefore bad for wider society. And I don't think you need to be a red flag waving socialist to see that. It's just basic fairness. And it's one of my main issues with the Conservative Party and people on the right. They, they think solely in terms of profit and they only look from the, the employer's point of view never the employee's point of view. Um, I mean, put it this way, without the minimum wage, and I remember, not directly, but I've seen footage of it. I was only a child at the time, but I remember, I've remember i seen footage of the debates when, for example, John Prescott and John Major debated on this. And uh, actually, I think it was Prescott and Michael Heseltine. But the Tories stubbornly were against it. And yet... It's very difficult to see that ever being removed now because they know full well that the public 
whether they think that they support it or not, the majority of the public do actually support it. So the Tories know that they can't turn it back now because it would make them look like the nasty party and it would be an act of a nasty party to do that, to take away the minimum wage. I mean, put it this way, without the minimum wage, in theory, in theory, because there would be no legal protection, an employer could pay as little as they wanted. So for the sake of argument, I could, as an employee, put in an hour's labour in a shop or in a factory, whatever it would be, and that employer could pay me one pound. Now, of course, the minimum wage is going to be rising because overall living costs are rising. Everything rises um, year by year. It's just, that's the way the economy goes. So, of course, uh, the cost of the minimum wage is going to rise. I accept that you, small business owners are under pressure. I don't think it's an easy thing, and I do think they deserve recognition. And, of course, their concerns need to be um, heard and understood. But not if it means saying, oh, well, get rid of the minimum wage. That makes things easier for me. Um, I, I don't know if this is true or not. James O'Brien said that we're one of the least regulated countries in Europe. I, I, can't, I can't say if that's true or not. I don't know. But really, if, if you can open up a second shop, then you don't really, you're obviously not doing that badly. So I think that, well, I, I don't understand how anyone could be against a minimum wage. I've heard the arguments, oh, it's bad for business. And they get into um, all the reasons why it's bad for business. But that's just the point. They're only thinking about business. They're not thinking about fairness. They're not thinking about the, the employee. And they treat, they sort of, it's almost a patronizing thing. Like, oh, well, we know what's best. You know, um, this is good for the employees as well. I don't see how. I mean, I remember I worked at uh, an Italian restaurant 12 years ago. I was underpaid, um, and I remember the humiliation I felt, and at the time I didn't have the confidence to stand up for myself, and I think what they were doing was downright illegal. So the situation isn't ideal. There is plenty of businesses, I think, do exploit people, particularly in the catering industry, but at least having the legal minimum wage, it's there. So if someone isn't being paid that, they can complain. There is also, of course, the issue of foreign staff being underpaid and they they will take that. I mean, there was that guy in Hove recently that attracted controversy when he called British workers lazy. Not only is he smearing all his compatriots, but um, which is factually not true, but he had a draconian line that uh, one young woman was late through no fault of her own because it was a public strike and on the train service and he docked her wages from the previous shift. Now, that to me is not a benevolent small business owner. That's a, a mini little tyrant. Um, so let's get rid of this idea that all small business owners are decent people. Most of them are, but some aren't. Some are just greedy and they're mini tyrants as far as I'm concerned. Um, and the Tories say, like, uh, I think there's a scene in the film The Iron Lady where Margaret Thatcher's father says, we're a nation of small shopkeepers. Uh, and that's kind of a romantic notion, and there's truth in it. Um, you know, the Tories will say, we're not about the rich, we're about the middle class. Margaret Thatcher was middle class. But when they give the impression that they are only defending the business owners and the employers, and they don't give a damn about the point of view of employees, then it does become, it looks like they're defending, you know, those who would, if they could, exploit people i mean if you're against the minimum wage i would argue that as a pro-exploitation position whatever way it's glossed over because you're essentially saying it's okay to pay someone as little as possible i.e exploitation that is the definition of exploitation look it up so the minimum wage is about basic fairness and i you know, it may well be that when I open up my business, when I get into that world, I, I might change my mind. But I hope I don't. I really hope I don't, because to me, it's a basic question of fairness. And I appreciate small business owners are under pressure. You know, I'm not 
I'm not saying they're the enemy. I'm not saying they're the bad guys. But the minimum wage is about protecting employees. That's all. It's not a far left position. It's just about fairness. I.e., if you put in labour, you should be paid fairly. Simple as that. 